Hello, hello, hello. Chris Ola is back with another video on the channel. And today we've got the Arsenal versus Nottingham Forest match preview. We're playing at home, Emirates Stadium, playing at 2 o'clock today on a nice Sunday. You know what I mean, the weather's not super nice, but the grass will be wet. And <sighs> I'm just going to say it every time. I don't expect much from the team other than a win, a good performance. We've been a bit, I don't want to say lethargic as of late, but we don't seem to be as good as we started you know it's not possible for any team to you know sustain this super super high intensity start to the season and carry it on throughout the season but we have plateaued a bit prematurely i mean yeah the schedule is super tight we've played this is our ninth game this month which is insane and if we can get through this month with only one loss in the europa league which we can brush aside um granted we win on thursday next week um, we've only dropped points once in the Premier League. Hopefully, we don't drop points today. And if we stay top of the table, that'll be brilliant. We know Man City have lost a game. They've dropped points as well in the Champions League. Um, all our other rivals, Spurs. Okay, no, Spurs haven't lost a game yet. I can't remember the last time they lost. Uh, no, they've definitely lost this this um, or dropped points this month. City, I've already spoken about them. United have dropped points against Chelsea. Chelsea literally dropped points last week to United and lost yesterday 4-1. Liverpool just losing every other week. So yeah, if we can win this game, we can look at the results that we have gotten with, you know, a smile on our face. Not up to our standards because we want our standards to be so high. We want to be perfect, but relatively very, very good. So yeah, let's talk about the game. Forest, they're not in the best of form. They did beat uh, Liverpool last week. Was it only 1-0? I believe it was 1-0. Let's just click on them and have a look. Uh, ah, yeah. So they beat, they beat Liverpool 1-0, which is a very, very, very good result. They play at the city ground, which I've been to a few times because I went uni up in knots. But I'd be lying if I saw any you know chance of them to win. It's at home, you know, we're very good at home. We don't tend to lose at home. We don't tend to drop points at home. We tend to score a lot and create a lot of chances at home. Um, can I see when our last home game was? I want to check just to make sure that I'm not completely waffling. So, okay, apart from the PSV game, we have not played at home in a while. Liverpool free, free, free. So we do tend to score a lot of goals at home, which is brilliant. Let's go over to the lineup. So we'll talk about their lineup first. They're playing off 4-3-3, which is quite interesting. Um, I know you could play centre back, but 4-3-3 against us, matching a formation. Um, again, it's interesting. When you match the formation, you need to make sure that you do not lose your jewels. You are you show, you know, qualitative superiority against the person you're in a 1v1 with. And that's why we love to play football, you know. Ben White is going to attack him. Tommy Asu will attack him and try and keep him on the leash, keep him on the leash. Awoniyi is a very physical striker, but he isn't, you know, he hasn't got that much tech. I feel like Saliba, Miguelaj, Party, they'll all deal with him. Mike Odegaard in the half space, Xhaka in the half space, Nelly Saka. They're just going to, they're just going to destroy him. Aurier is not very good defensively. He's physical, but he's not good defensively. And Jesus, no one can handle Jesus. Like, you can keep him quiet, but it will take two, three people, a lot of fouling to keep him quiet. And, you know, there'll be space for him and him to abuse their qualitative superiority. So, I've spoken about the lineup. The only bit I'm not happy with is Tommy Asi at left back. No disrespect to him. I do very, very, I like, I rate him as a player. I really love him as a player, but he's not a lateral left back. We've got Tierney. Um, Zinchenko is an absolute crook. Like this guy's always injured. Don't know what's going on there. I mean, it's not too big of a deal because we have got decent depth in the left back position. We've literally got three left backs, but it is nice to see Zinchenko there because he is by far the best left back in possession. And the aim of the way we play our four-three-three positional play is to have the ball as much as possible and to you know create. I'm not even going to go into it because I don't need to. But yeah, no, I expect 
I mean, let's talk about the Southampton game. I'm very, very disappointed with that. I did predict a very, very high scoring game for us. No, I predicted a 3-1, I believe. We should have had like four penalties. That Lienko guy should have been sent off. But I don't want to sit here and complain about that because that was like a week ago, 23rd. Yeah, it is what it is. But honestly, this game, I expect nothing more than a highly energised game. Like, not they do not press. They're going to sit back. Um, they might decide to press because sitting back against Arsenal is a suicide wish. But I don't expect them to, you know, come out all guns blazing um, because we will pick out their press. They will not be able to sustain an adequate press to prevent us from creating chances. It will just make it easier for us to create chances. At the same time, if they sit deep in a deep block, we're going to create chances. So good luck to them. I hope they stay up because you know, I've got a little connection to Forest, being as I went to uni there for four years. But again, I predict nothing more than an Arsenal win. And I'm going to go for a 4-0 prediction. I'm going to go for a Xhaka goal, Bukayo Saka brace, and Jesus needs to score. Honestly, Jesus, you need to score. Hopefully, you get your goal in this game. So yeah, that's it from me. I will try to make a predict. Um, you know, I'm not even going to promise anything for the Europa League. I've been sticking strictly to the Premier League. So we've got Zurich and then we've got Chelsea. I can't wait for that Chelsea game. And I might actually try and get tickets to watch the game because I really want to go to an away game, a London derby.